Hey everyone, Joseph Evans here, making episode easy for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can modify your character's default outfits, how you can create brand new outfits, and how you can change your characters into different outfits anywhere in your scenes. First of all, to modify our character's default outfits, we need to make sure we're on the home screen of our story, and then we need to just click the outfits button. And in this box on the left, we can see all of the default outfits that have been automatically created for our characters. Luckily, we can change these. Since Avis is already selected, let's go ahead and make some changes to it. These boxes show you exactly which items of clothes make up the outfit. And if we want to remove any of them, we can simply click the X in the top right corner of that box. If we scroll down here, we can see that that change has been applied to this preview of our character and Ava now has bare feet. To add a new item of clothing to the outfit, we just need to scroll down a bit further and we're presented with all of the clothes available for our character. Scrolling through these can be great if you're looking for inspiration, but often we'll already know exactly what we're looking for and it can be a bit like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Let's say we want to add a pair of pink shoes to this outfit. The best way to do this is by going to the top of all these items, clicking this drop down menu that says filter by clothing types and then selecting the type of clothes we want. So in this case, we want shoes. Now this still brings up a lot of results and we specifically want pink shoes. To show only pink shoes, we can go over to the filter by colors drop down menu and just select the color pink from the list. Now, the one thing you'll notice is that it appears to have brought up a load of white shoes as well as pink ones, but these are actually not white at all. When you see an item of clothing that has one of these color wheels, in the top left corner, it means that it comes in a variety of colors that you can choose when you select it. If we click on one of these, it will show us that pink is one of the options, which is why they're included in our search result. But let's go down and choose one of the non-multicolor options. How about these pink sneakers? And if we scroll back up to our avatar, we can see that she is now wearing those pink sneakers. To go with the pink sneakers, let's also change this dress by removing it by clicking that X in the top right corner of its box. And then let's say we want to give her a pair of shorts. We could use these drop down menus again to filter by clothing type and color. Or another way to find exactly what we're looking for is to simply write it in this search for a clothing box. Let's type the word shorts. Now, what this should do is show us all of the shorts available, but it is telling us that no clothing matched the search. This is something that can be confusing because of course there are shorts available. And the reason why it's telling us this is that we still have our filters on from our previous search. So it's actually trying to find shorts within the shoes category, which is never going to be able to do. To clear these filters from our previous search, we just need to go up to the top of this drop down menu and click clear all clothing filters. And then to do the same for colors, just click that drop down menu again and clear all color filters as well. And now it is showing us all the available shorts. Let's give Ava this belted ombre shorts denim Oxford blue. And then let's do a quick search for a hoodie as well, maybe. Maybe I'll go with the multicolor option this time and just choose pink from the list. Okay, we have now successfully changed Ava's default outfit. And before we do anything else, we just got to make sure we click the save button at the top above the avatar. And we get this pop-up box telling us that our outfit was successfully saved. Okay, now let's say we want to keep Dylan's default outfit exactly as this is, but we'd like him to change into something different at a certain point in the story. To do this, we'll need to first create a brand new outfit for him. And we can do this by clicking the new outfit button in the top left. And we can name our new outfit anything we want, but it's good practice to follow episode's own naming convention where the character's name is at the beginning of it. For instance, if we want to create a smart casual outfit for Dylan, we would write Dylan in all capital letters, then an underscore, then smart underscore casual. The reason it's good to put the character's name at the beginning is that it makes our lives a lot easier further down the line. Once we've written a few chapters, we're probably going to have a lot of different outfits for each character, and it can get confusing knowing whose is whose. Also, the reason why we need to have underscores in here is that it does not allow you to have spaces, so underscores are the next best thing. Let's go ahead and create this outfit by scrolling down, 
And you'll notice that even though we're creating a new outfit for Dylan, it's actually by default showing us all of the women's clothes. To change this to men's clothes, we just go up to the top of the items and click this drop down menu that says for generic female and change it to generic male. Let's give Dylan some kind of shirt by just typing the word shirt in the search box. And let's go for this open flannel design. Let's give him a pair of jeans as well by just typing the word jeans into the search box. Uh, maybe let's give him this worn ripped jeans denim oxford blue. And then he's going to need some shoes as well to complete the outfit. Let's just type in maybe some boots would look good with this outfit. And maybe these ankle boots in blue grey. Now if we scroll back up we should be able to see our full avatar in the new outfit. Now the portal has recognized for me that this is an outfit for Dylan but sometimes it can get it wrong. It can show you your outfit sometimes being modeled by the wrong character. If this does happen all you need to do is go up to the top and click this drop down menu that says character and then your character's name and just select the character you want to be the model for the outfit. Okay let's save that one. And now let's go back to our script by clicking the back button in the top left and then choosing our chapter. As you can see, I've already created a couple of example scenes here to show you how we can change outfits in the middle of a chapter. I'll just play this for you. First of all, let's just hide these boxes by clicking navigation and then hide debug elements. So we're in our school hallway and we have Ava asking Dylan if he wants to hang out at the skate park after school. Dylan likes the idea, but he says he wants to pop home first to get changed. Ava says she'll wait there for him. Then it cuts to a black screen with the narrator telling us some time has passed. And then we cut to the skate park where Ava is waiting for Dylan as he arrives and she asks him what took so long. But as you can see, Dylan is still wearing his default outfit. So in a situation like this, how do we get Dylan to change into the new outfit we created earlier? Luckily, it's super easy. All we need to do is go to the part of the script where we want our character to change. Let's say right at the beginning of the skate park scene just before Dylan enters. Just create a bit of room down here and then we're going to want him to change exactly at this point. So to get him to change outfits right here, we just write at then the character's name, then the words changes into and then the name we gave our outfit, which was Dylan underscore smart underscore casual. Let's see if that works. That does indeed work. Awesome. Now, there's just one more important thing I need to tell you before I go that might be confusing. Now that we've changed Dylan into this new outfit, if we preview our story from the beginning again, you'll notice that Dylan is now still wearing that new outfit, even though he was supposed to be wearing his default outfit at the beginning of the scene. This is because the previewer remembers what we changed him into. You don't have to worry too much about this because this will only happen for you while you're writing and editing your story, not your readers. And when you publish, it should all work correctly for your readers. However, it is good practice to change your character into whatever you want them to be wearing at the start of any scene in any chapter, just in case things get messy. The previewer can fool you into thinking your character is wearing the correct outfit, but when you publish, they might be wearing something different. So in this case, where we want Dylan to be wearing his default outfit, we would just need to make sure that we put at the start of the opening scene, at then his name, changes into Dylan underscore default. That should ensure that we always get a correct preview that accurately matches what our readers will see. Let's just check. So there we go. That is how you create and change outfits in your episode stories. If you have any questions about this or anything else episode coding related, make sure to ask away in the comments down below. And if you know the answer to anyone else's question, it would be amazing if you could give them a quick reply to help them out. Also, if you'd like more episode resources to help you write your story, take a look in the description box below this video. I'll put a load of useful links down there for you. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would love you to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.